and the party bosses got together and jumped all over the prime minister and the minister of foreign affairs and said, hey, why are you backing down to the Koreans? What's wrong with you guys? You know, be a man, stand up there and let's get our gold mine recognized. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Mark Peterson with the Frog Outside the World Research Center. And today I have my favorite old time best guest in the world who got me started in this game. There's Chad. Hi everybody, good to see you. This is Chad from Hi Chad. If you don't know about Hi Chad's uh, video channel, where have you been? <laughs> where everybody, have I been? Yeah. Where have I been is the real question. I've been MIA. <laughs> well, lately you haven't, you've been working on some other projects, but uh, uh, your channel really does well, and you do a great job with it. Uh, today, I thought uh, we'd talk about Japan and the problem, the perpetual, <laughs> perpetual problems we've got with Japan. Yeah. And I don't know why they have to be so belligerent about this, but here's the latest. I don't know if you've heard about this, but uh, remember Battleship Island? We did this yeah. thing on Battleship Island. Yeah. And the issue was Japan wants UNESCO recognition for early industrialization in Japan and this coal mine wherein they use forced labor from Korea and Japan. And the Koreans were all upset about it. Well, right. guess what? It's happening all over again. There's an island called Sado. Okay. And Sado is the worst possible name for an island because Sado <laughs> is the name of that one prince yeah. who was killed in the uh, rice chest by his father. You know, the story yeah. of Sado Seja, the unhappy, unhappy crown prince. Yeah. Well, Sado Island. And it's off the north coast, so it's the opposite direction from where Battleship Island was, where Hashima was. Yeah. But Sado, the game there is not coal. The game there is gold. Uh -huh. It's a gold and a silver mine. And so <laughs> Japan wants recognition for early industrialization. And they've got a good point there because in the early, in the 17th century, when this mine was first operating, uh, a lot of the gold and silver in the world came out of Japan. Mm -hmm. And it lubricated the trade from China to Peru to where silver was mined to the Spaniards. You know, you know why are the Spanish in the Philippines? Mm -hmm. The uh, trade with China and uh, the Japanese trade plays in with all of this and the silver and the gold was very important. So, you know, they've got a good point about that. Mm -hmm. But you look up the UNESCO lists for Japan and it looks like they're trying to set the world for UNESCO lists, UNESCO recognition. They've got recognition for Buddhist this and industrial that. Also, and Hiroshima's on the list, you know. Oh, wow. And uh, so Japan wants to beat Greece. You know, Greece was the first to, to get all the UNESCO uh, uh -huh, World uh, Heritage yeah. Sites because, you know, the whole, whole world started in Greece and they've got all these great places. And then Rome and yeah. Italy gets all these places. Well, Japan's trying to catch up with them and show the world, you know, how uh, marvelous Japan is. Well, they're doing it on the backs of the Koreans. The Koreans are mad as hops about this. So they announced it back in like December or so, and the Koreans just went through the roof. And yeah. so the government backed off and they said, well, well, maybe we won't apply for this. And, you know, we'll, we'll re-examine it. And immediately there was a meeting of the LTV, the, uh, the Li Liberal Democratic Party, LD, LDP, uh, and the party bosses got together and jumped all over the prime minister and the minister of foreign affairs and said, hey, why are you backing down to the Koreans? What's wrong with you guys? You know, be a man, stand up there and let's get our gold mine recognized. <laughs> so so the, sure enough, the government turned around and came right back and said, oh, we're gonna push for recognition. And the trouble is when you apply for recognition, there is a 14 nation committee mm -hmm. and uh, you only need, is it a majority or two thirds, but uh, it might be two thirds, to, but uh, nobody ever turns them down. They're 14 to nothing or 13 to one right. in almost every case. So the Japanese are quite convinced that if they can get this thing on the agenda for the next meeting, <laughs> that the Koreans will vote against it, but they'll still get it done anyway.
You know, I wish I could say I was surprised, but really with Japan's government, I, I'm never surprised at this point. It's just, it's the same old story, just played out different ways. And it just feels like that they will do anything they can to kind of erase any sort of negative thing in history and just overemphasize anything positive. Yeah. The, uh, I, I've been surprised to hear that it, uh, in bookstores all over <laughs> Japan, they're not only anti Korean books, but it's a whole section. <laughs> There's a section of anti Korean books. <laughs> and I don't know what's wrong with Japan. Uh, the, the, the people, you know, that I talk to, my Japanese friends, they just shake their head and say, what's wrong with these guys? It's like uh, us in our country too, you know, whichever yeah. government's in power, you know, Trump, uh, Biden, you know, people like to gripe about it. People complain about it. It's the government that's doing this. They just have to, uh, they're, they're trying to make their history look clean and innocent, but at the same time, they just keep stirring up all this trouble all over again. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I don't know. You, you know, and, and, and maybe it'd be one thing if, if they're, you know, proposing that this get, you know, be made a UNESCO heritage site, but also, you know, paying tribute and apology to, you know, all the Koreans who, you know, and, and probably people from other countries as well who worked there, you know, under forced labor and, but if they won't do that, they'll just, they would, they'd be like, no, no, that didn't happen. They actually wanted to come here, you know, and all these things. And it's just, that's the aggravating part to me. They say there were over a thousand Koreans that were forced to do mining there during World War II. Uh, one number was 1,100 or 1,200 uh, Koreans who were pushed there. Mm -hmm. uh, the Japanese uh, history on World War II is one thing. We were bombed by the Americans with an atomic bomb. We're the yeah. only nation in the world to ever be bombed by an atomic bomb. And you say, what about Pearl Harbor? Uh, we were the only nation to be bombed by an atomic bomb. Uh, yeah. What about the massacre of Nanjing? Yeah, but we were the only nation to be bombed by atomic bomb. That's the only record that they, that they tend to play on this. So, well, sorry to be so anti Japanese government. We're not anti Japanese. That's the thing. And that's the thing I always that I always say is that, you know, I want to be clear is that I'm not anti Japan. I've been to Japan, had a really great time. I've met some really great people from Japan. I would just say that it's the government is just out of control and it's just constant. And uh, the narrative that they're constantly pushing is just, it's exhausting. And then the government goes between a right wing government and a far right wing government. That's, yeah. that's the swing. There's no, there's no central or yeah. leftist at, at all. There's no relief in sight. Well, yeah. it's a sad story. I wish Japan would uh, be like G Germany and face up to the uh, past honestly and say, here's what happened. And we're sorry about that, but we're not that way now. And what Japan is doing is by covering up for it, they're saying we are that way now you are yeah yeah i mean it's just you're doubling down on what you were by yeah. trying to hide it or trying to you know promote the past version of yourselves and so yeah it's crazy it's a sad story well anyway i thought i'd bring up the date on <laughs> on the sado unesco world heritage mine gold mine in japan it's a sad yeah, story well, but let's hope things improve yeah let's stay up to date on it hey thanks chad good visit yeah. with you Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah, we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye.